Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Being Wendy. My name is Wendy, aka Mama Dina, and I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, and anything that I feel like telling you guys about. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get notified anytime I post a video. Hi guys, it's been a while. My laptop got spoiled. I'm sorry. And I have promised consistency, and that's why I'm here. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into the video. Um Sorry, I just said something. I text on my phone that made me laugh. Um, so if you if you follow me on Instagram, which I highly um encourage, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I'm actually very active on Instagram and then Twitter and then Facebook. But yeah, so I ask people on Instagram to ask me questions about co-parenting because I think I'm doing fairly well now. Um, I wasn't doing okay before. I was in a really, I was in really bad shape for a really long time, almost two years of constant arguments, constant stressing out, just in a really, in really bad shape. And so I really understand when you're having a hard time with this partner, because this partner was supposed to be your forever. Okay, at least for some of us, you thought they'd be the forever. You thought, you know, we do this, we, we're, we're working on it. And then something happens and either they're not coming through or you guys don't, um, there's no meeting of the minds and things like that. You just don't get along on so much. And then maybe he's introducing a new woman into, the life, into his life and you're scared. It's freaking you out. And it's, it's crazy. So let me just um go through your questions and let's see how I'll, I'll not say who posted what i won't say um where the questions came from like who particularly asked what but i will just go straight into answering the questions because i think that's the most reasonable thing to do so let's start with do things ever get better with time well i believe things do get better with time but only if you ask allow yourself to learn from your mistakes and be patient enough to kind of understand the situation on both sides so sometimes um i say like this because sometimes um your co-parent may not have the resources you think he does especially when it's the woman asking the guy for like money and things like that sometimes he's going through a rough time financially and Honestly, he may not be able to, and you can. You probably are in a better place. So I suggest in such a place, try and pull in the weight. As much as you guys are not in a relationship, you guys are going to be in each other's lives forever. So you need to also learn to be able to pull in the weight when the other person cannot. And yeah, I think it just definitely gets better with time. But then you also need to just... Pray, be patient, and yeah, keep working towards a better co-parenting situation. Um, measures, what measures have I taken personally? Um, for us, uh, I can't provide financially because I'm in school, so I'm not really getting the money. So I can't really say that I provide for Dina like that. If I do, it's like really minimal things. But most comes from her dad and my parents. So it's both. And I decided, okay, for us, we used to argue so much. I felt like you should give more, you should do more. I went through so much. You need to be able to, like, I felt like this person needed to be punished for all I went through, through like under him or through like when I was the person and it made me such a bitter person and to be very honest as much as maybe it's true like I still strongly believe that maybe they should go through some some type of punishment or they should be in a space where they need to be to account for their actions and things like that I also believe um for me I needed to move on. I needed to accept that, you know what, things are like this. And maybe this person will never be punished, maybe. We, and he may never feel the pinch. I mean, I don't know. But I needed to move on as me. So what I did is I, try, I stopped complaining. Like, if I need something for Dana and I tell them, hi, um, this is what I need. And this is maybe because of this and that. The money is sent. This I used it and things like that. And 
he's like oh i don't have money today but i'll send tomorrow i actually decided to say oh it's okay if you don't have today you'll send tomorrow fine because most of the time i'd overreact and maybe to be very honest he'd send tomorrow or the next month like he'd still eventually send so i stopped overreacting and stopped making it so much about me and about the relationship because it was clearly non-existent do you have an agreement in place does the father stick to the rules in it if not what what i did recently the beginning of the year i did a rough estimate of what we use in a month so this is what i said this this is this this is this this is this and i sent it to him and i told him you know what that's what we use in a month think about it if you think you're sending enough fine if you think you need to add on to what you normally send fine and I chose this path because I, first of all, um, when I don't have and I ask my parents, they never complain. So I feel like I'm in a space where I'm okay. Like, whether he sends or not, we're going to be fine. Me and then I'm going to be okay. But in a situation where you don't have uh, someone to fall back on, then that's going to be an issue. And guess what? It's okay for you to go and take this person to court and sue for upkeep or whatever. Especially when, because you remember my friend Melvin's story, they start asking you questions of, can he provide anything? If you know he can provide and he's working and something like that, just go sue for upkeep, for monthly, whatever, monthly upkeep. So for us, it's, this is what we're using. If you can't manage well and good, if you can't, thank you. Um, oh, someone said my page is lit. Thank you. How did you agree on how to do this? Did you need a lawyer or sign a contract? No, we did not agree on, we did not have a lawyer, um, at least not yet, because now Dinah's needs are very small. So, like I said, I just decided to make peace with it, to the, with the whole situation. I just decided to not interfere with this person's business, and this person should not interfere with mine. And that was it. Like, I just told him, you know what? It's fine. It's over. I accept it. As painful as it is, I accept it. But you know what? We need to move on. And I want the best for my child. I mean, our child. Because now I need to accept that this child is ours. And what we do is, whenever he's in Nairobi, because he doesn't work in Nairobi, whenever he's in Nairobi, he comes and takes the child. They go out for a day, brings up back in the evening. And he can do that for even like three days consecutively. And my child loves her father. That's actually the reason why I decided to just become a better co-parent because I don't want to be the bitter one because my child loves being with the dad and I had to be okay with that situation because guess what? That's the father. And so many of, so much of how, like the way Diana behaves some things, I'm just like, okay, this is a bit like the dad, a bit like the dad. But there's nothing I can do. That's, that's her dad and he wants to be in her life so I can't stop them. Should you allow the father to come see the child? Though he doesn't provide, yet he has money. It's a very tricky situation. However, what are you doing about the situation? Are you okay with him not providing? If you're not, um, and you know he has money, um, soon, like I said, just take the person to court. And I really believe your child should be given a chance to be with her dad. I also say sometimes um, when they hang out with these children, they start seeing because they normally, sometimes, most of these guys assume that you're using the money they're sending for their kids, which honestly, I don't understand. However, um, sometimes you can do them a shopping list. I think that's a, if, if they don't send you money, just do them a shopping list and tell them this is what we use in a month. Go buy and drop it at our house. You get. Or sometimes when they hang out with the children, they start seeing the need of other things. Like for us, whenever I'm giving, I'm dropping Dana off, that's when I'll be like, um, let's do shopping for her. She needs new clothes. She needs new this. And that time he won't actually like fuss because he's seeing where the money is going. I think the problem is normally seeing where that money is going, which is very wrong, honestly. Ah, even if you had a child with someone, why are you starting to stress them over to do what? Yeah, that's not accept. Guy, you want a woman? Let me just with that. Um, I'm just curious. Do you ever get jealous or upset when you see your baby daddy with another shorty? Um, for me, I don't. Not at all. I was, I got over it and I accepted. Only one time I got pissed off and it wasn't jealousy. I was pissed off generally because we had not been sent for money for something and this person was on vacation with this female. And I was like, 
I was pissed off. Had a shit from the look of things. I'll just raise my child. Babe, if it's going to make you happy, well, do you. Whatever is going to just make you happy. But if he wants to be part of the, the child's life, I think you should try and work something out. Work a plan out. Um. So our last question is, has your co-parenting partner suggested we have sex? She said, has your co-parenting partner suggested you twa twa? And what's your opinion on that? If you're done, if you guys are co-parenting, don't do that. Period. Like, just, no. Because now that will bring in space for confusion. You're confusing yourself. It's going to drain you emotionally. Because now you'll start catching feelings for this person. And then this person is probably sleeping with multiple people. It's going to piss you off. You're going to be a very crazy human being. And one is going to understand. Because probably people don't even know you guys are together like that. Because this is not an actual relationship. It's just for physical benefit. And... Honestly, you deserve better and your child deserve a, deserves a sane parent, like a sane mom and a sane dad. Whoever like is taking, like, whoever stays with the child deserves to be in a good place emotionally. Yeah, so I hope I've been able to answer your questions well. Try your best and be very reasonable. Put feelings aside and remember the child and be like, this is the best. Like, oh, Try and do the best for your child. Another thing is you need to know that kids need their dads and they need their moms. So if the parent is willing to be part of their life, that's the best thing. If they're not, fine. Find someone who's going to be able to play that role, like as a role model, as a man or as a woman, to be able to just try and raise this child best. If, um, yeah, I think I'm done with this video. Please read books by Joanna Ah, Joan Thatia. Joan Thatia's books are very eye-opening and very enlightening. Yeah, so please read the things I will tell my daughter. And I think you're too blue. Uh -uh. Yeah, I think that's the one you should read exactly in, in regards to things and like parenting and things like that. Yeah, so I think I'm done with this video. How's your quarantine? I hope you guys are doing okay. I will see. I will do a video on what we are doing the, during this quarantine. Maybe I'll give you a few ideas on what me and my family are doing to spend quarantine together and be the best we can be. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And we'll be back in the next video. Bye. <laughs>